What's up, beautiful people, to another episode of Don't Keep Up With The Joneses Green Thumb Edition. Yes, it's your boy Ricky Jones Jr. and I am back for another awesome video. And this one's all about cleaning my garden. Oh my goodness, I do apologize to all my garden people, all my Green Thumb family members that saw the garden and was like, oh my gosh, Ricky, that looks horrible. I do apologize. This video is especially to you because I am going to clean it up. It has been raining multiple days throughout the week and I really don't have like the time or obviously the ability to clean it. But today it's a sunny day. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out there and do my cleaning. All right, so let me go ahead and gather the tools necessary for the completion of this journey. And then I'm gonna go to the backyard. Let's go. Oh, snap. Told y'all, it's been raining. Look at these logs on the tree. Look at that. Look at that. And I was supposed to be cutting this grass too, but my brother borrowed my uh, lawnmower and um, he gave me the lawnmower back. However, he retained the battery to cut the, the, the grass. <laughs> and also he retained a bag that is also necessary. Oh snap. I have another pepper. Uh, retained the bag that was also necessary for um, grass cutting, okay, right? So I'm getting in here, getting a look of everything, seeing what's going on in the garden. I see I have a lot of tomatoes growing. I have some that I need to pick. Like I said, I have uh, another pepper, candy pepper that is starting to grow. What's happening over here is abysmal, 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 whatever, however you say the word, which is where my sunflowers used to be and now it's just a weedy wonder, okay? So I'm gonna have to go ahead and get everything out of here. There's an interesting plant growing. I don't ever think I've seen this before. Look at this. Wow. Comment below if you know what this is. Whatever it is, it's pretty cool. I may leave this up and take everything else out because it's just weeds. It's just a lot of weeds and I can go ahead and grow some things in this flower bed. Obviously the soil is rich enough for things to grow, but it's not growing what I want. These sunflowers have to go. So I'm gonna do some cleaning y'all. I need to clean within my flower, my raised beds. Like just go ahead and clean those things up. That's why I have the buckets so I can throw things out. Look at this. This is why you have a hoop house. So things like this does not hit your plants and ultimately takes out your crops. All right, so I just have some cleaning up to do, y'all. I'm gonna go bed by bed and clean, clean, clean until we are ultimately done with this raised bed. Look at this, more debris and things like that all in the way. Obviously what we want the hoop house to catch. And uh, so it's doing its job. However, you know what I'm saying? The haters are out here. They don't want me to be great. I don't know why. I don't know why it doesn't want me to be great, but it's okay. I'm gonna keep fighting back and do what I have to do to make sure I get what I want to get, which is a successful, healthy garden. All right, so. All right, so now that I've taken off the sides, <laughs> To the raised beds. I now have entry points into my raised beds as I was so desired to go ahead and clean those out. So what I would do is go bed upon bed, cleaning out the flower beds, or excuse me, the raised beds themselves, take you along a journey, um, show you like before. So now you see like before. Let me just try to get like a, a full scope. Like it doesn't even do it justice when I back away like this because you don't get to see like the nitty gritty in between situations that's going on. But nonetheless, this is like before, and I'll show you after. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this off, and you get to see before, and then you'll get to see after, and you'll get to see in between. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Turn that red subscribe button into a gray subscribe button. Go ahead and turn that subscribe thing into a thing of the past. Join the family so that you're connected to everything that we do, which is always awesome, okay? So go ahead and help us out. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2020. So with your subscription, that helps us get to our goal. And uh, yeah, man, so many other things that we get to do help other people out. So subscribe so you can be a part of what we get to do in this family. But without further ado, let me go ahead and get this party together. 
Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that, whew, excuse me, that is one bed down. I got this one all cleared out. This is where my sunflowers were, which it sucks to see them go because again, that was planted in memory of my mom who loves sunflowers and things like that. Thankfully, she was able to see them and things like that. So, and, but they died, you know, I didn't realize why well, I didn't know. So fun fact, sunflowers actually, oh, don't get me wrong, annuals, Whatever the ones that only grow for a certain part of the year, then they die. Then they have to plant them again so they can come back. They're that type of flower. So it was time for them to go. And I gave this bed a try. Uh, maybe we'll grow watermelon there, which I'm very curious to watch watermelon grow. So I think that'll be the plant that I actually plant in this space. Um, multiple watermelons. I'll just add some extra dirt. You saw that I used a fork tool just like this. And so the purpose of this tool is to get out the roots and things of the plants that were already established in the raised bed so after clearing out the weeds and pulling them up uprooting them use this to get the roots that you didn't pull out when you just like you know pull at the plant so it doesn't grow when it rains the next time <laughs> so that's what this is for now i am off to this raised bed that has my tomatoes it has my herbs and then it has my corn and brussels sprouts and uh peppers i think i'm gonna take this cage and transplant it over there because my pepper plant is growing very very well and i want it to have the support necessary for sufficient growth and adequate needs i don't know if all those words are necessary however i'm gonna do what it do all right so let's go ahead and get into the next bed Now that about halfway through this project, I just want to say that I recommend everybody to not do raised beds. No, I'm just kidding, but maybe not. Se seriously, I don't know. Buckets. I wish, and now that I'm trying to like figure everything out, I now wish I did most of my stuff in five gallon buckets because as you can see, like the buckets are sitting up. Like the buckets are good. They're in a rack that I built specifically for them. They are good to go. I don't have to worry about weeds growing within them and things like that. They're high up. So if you're thinking about doing a raised bed, please consider the work that comes with it. It is something that you have to tend to, if not every day, every other day, which is what I was doing before. And then life started happening, started doing different things. Of course, the corona situation took off and work got amplified. So different things was taking place. But I say all that to say, I would recommend five gallon buckets as the way to go about gardening is easier and you can actually plant a lot of things in five gallon buckets. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to these peppers which you do want to see. So let me let me just bring you on a ride for the candy pepper like diagnose diagnosis to figure out what I want to do with it. So all right if y'all remember the candy pepper plant that I picked the last time it was wonderful. And you see I have another one growing. This one is already red, so it's probably ready to be picked. Um, so I'm trying to figure out if I want to put the cage down here, which I don't think so because I don't want to disrupt the root system that's already going with the spikes of the cage. I don't know. Let me think. Let me think. 
All right, so I think I come up with a solution for my peppered problem, stability problem. I picked up a branch from my papaya tree, which the papaya tree is over there to the right. Um, and if you have used or come across a papaya tree, you know how the branches are very strong and firm. So I'm going to use the a little lizard up there that's what i'm looking at making sure the little joker don't jump on me but anyway uh, i'm gonna use this as my stability branch and i'm gonna just go ahead and poke it into the ground like so boom 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 next to the pepper plant which is pretty firm right there i'm good to go and i'm gonna attach it with these little um you can call them like basket or excuse me like you know we have like bread and you have the little ties. It's similar to that, but nonetheless, I'm gonna go ahead and attach my candy pepper plant to the branch and then continue to go to my corn, which there's something interesting happening with my corn, my sweet corn that I wanna show you and get your advice if you have any pertaining to sweet corn and the problem that I have, okay? So let me go ahead and do this attachment and then we'll go over there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I feel like that is nice and right as far as my pepper plant is concerned. I feel like it's nice and sturdy. So now on to my corn, which I want to show you all this interesting situation. So here's my corn. I have four stalks of corn, which is not growing high, but I can feel the corn is actually growing in here. So it's pretty cool. I thought the corn was actually going to grow higher than this. But take a look at here. Look at these ants. It's like fire ants. Look at that. How has fire ants and whatever this is, looks like dill, is starting to grow itself up the stalk of corn. Now these ants are huge. Like these are not your average fly-by-night ants. Look at these jokers. They have found my corn. So I guess my corn is sweet even before it, you know, hits my mouth because the ants have already started coming in here and taking nibbles and bites. I'm gonna now have to figure out a way to get rid of my ants. If you know of ways to get rid of ants, please let me know if you have any tips, tricks, or things organically that I can use to take care of the ants um, so they don't take care of my corn, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this situation and then on to the third raised bed. I'm telling y'all, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work and I've been neglecting it, so it's piled up. But anyway, let me do what I have to do. Truth be told, ladies and gentlemen, I have to see those ants. Ooh, you know how you like see ants and you feel like they're crawling on you everywhere? That's where I'm at right now. So, all right, so I'm trying to push past that and uh, trying to get to the finish line. And uh, the finish line, of course, has me. Bright thing is on this side, I do have some okra growing. Check out my okra, ladies and gentlemen. It is growing nice and well, which I am very impressed. Um, the plant first grew taller and then the okra started to come forth. So that's pretty cool watching that all take place. However, my bean plants have died. They did me well. We did have one meal that Crystal and I did get to partake with the green beans. However, that was it. All my green bean plants have since died. So now I have, this is broccoli that is growing. Broccoli over there, the same over there as well. And the rest, I'm gonna just go ahead and pull out because it's weeds and dead plants. And then over here is where I pulled my huge radish from, um, which I have carrots, or excuse me, let me just let you know what the rows are. This row is okra that you see all growing here. And then next to it, you have your carrots growing nice and wonderfully well. And then we have two stalks of cauliflower that are doing, mar well, actually three, three cauliflower that are doing marvelously well. So I'm excited about that. So let me go ahead and clear these out.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, so now the garden is back to its glory. Um, well, you know, as glorious as it is, a lot of things have died because of my neglect, but it's okay, because I'm back. My attention has been delivered back to the garden. I will give you all two days of garden, like, visits and updates and things like that. I'm gonna make sure I'm out here and when I record that holds me accountable. So I'll make sure I come out here at least twice a week to make sure everything is where I need it to be, want it to be and things like that. Let me just walk you through the raised beds again. So this is the newest one. That is my candy bell, or excuse me, yeah, my candy bell pepper. Those are Brussels sprouts growing up and those are corn along there. So then I have my herbs. These are uh, basil and then we have mints three variety of mint lavender that is about to lose its life looks like then I have my tomatoes a couple of basil plants there and then um, some garlic growing along there you know periodically and then I have this huge onion that I need to go ahead and pick then I have my empty raised bed just some marigolds planted along there that is where my beans and things will go I got my open area where my sunflowers were that I'm looking to put my watermelon plants at. Then I have this beauty, which again, I don't know what it is. If you do know what it is, please let me know in the comment section below. It's a pretty cool plant, which is why I left it. I mean, hey, not every day do you get to see a pink plant. All right, so then I have this raised bed that had my beans in it, but now it's just some broccoli that I might pull up. I'm looking to get my friend Lala Crops um, to come over to give me some suggestions on what I should do, could do, um, and things like that. But, you know, I have four stalks of broccoli currently here, but we'll see if they remain. And then I have my lovely okra, carrots, cauliflower growing here, which are doing well, I must say. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here is my garden now, finished, complete, cleaned, and things like that. As I did recommend in the video before, if you don't have a lot of time and things like that to do what I just did um, or have the opportunity to maintain it as I look forward to doing so, do raise, or excuse me, not raise, but do five gallon buckets. Raise and grow your things in five gallon buckets. It will make life a tad bit easier um, and you could just build a stand like I did there and just go from there, okay? So that's what I can recommend at the end of this video <laughs> after doing all of that today, spending about four hours out here cleaning things up. That is what I ultimately recommend and what I will probably do going forward if ultimately a greenhouse isn't what I land upon. But anyway, I love y'all beautiful people, man. Thank you so much for all the support that you all have given us. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. And if you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe. Turn that red subscribe button into a gray subscribe button, okay? Join the family as we look to have 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2020 and it can happen starting with you and all the people that you know doing that too. I mean, subscribe. Anyway, go ahead and watch the next videos. Check out the video there. And then this bad boy here. Okay, that one first. And then this one. And then, you know, subscribe. Make sure you do that. Boom. Wait, boom, boom, boom. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Okay, boom, boom, boom. All right, all right, until next time. Peace.